When you think of the theme of tonight's event, Vision Illuminated, it's hard not to think of our next laureate. Did you say illuminate? Oh, Hadley, our laureate isn't Mark Hamill, it's Pat Hamill. But I completely understand why you would think that. We do go to Stargate Charter School after all, and our laureate is just like a Jedi. Pat Hamill invented Oakwood Homes in 1981. Under his leadership, Oakwood Homes grew to become one of the largest home building companies in the Denver area. And in 2017, Oakwood was sold to Berkshire Hathaway and is now a premier master plan developer in Colorado, Utah, and Arizona. Let's watch this blockbuster movie. Oh, sorry, I mean short video about Pat Hamill. Pat Hamill's desire to learn and ski brought him to Denver. From there, the influence from his greatest mentor, his father, continues to drive his innovation, business success, and giving across hundreds of causes, establishing communities, and changing lives. Patrick Hamill was born in Lansing, Michigan in 1959 and attended the University of Denver. Actually, it really was skiing and ski racing, actually, that uh, brought me here uh, first. I founded Oakwood Homes actually in 1991, and it was kind of a second career. I really started my career out in the consulting area. I realized instead of being a coach, I really wanted to be in the business. Oakwood is it's not just a home builder, but a community builder. And so it's the work that other teams at Oakwood do around the amenities. It's the partnerships we do with our municipal partners around cities and parks and, um, and school districts too. Pat and Oakwood have bought large land pieces where the school system has been absolutely the worst in the whole state. Um, and what Pat's done is he just built wonderful charter schools in those communities. Now we have actually one of the top schools, not only in our state, but ranked in the nation, um, Denver School for Science and Technology that we have, and, and others is really how do you give great choices to families. With the success of Oakwood Homes, Pat formed the Build Strong Foundation in 1997 as a way to give back to the communities where they operate. And since then, Oakwood has been making a contribution to the foundation for every closing we have in the company. Build Strong Academy is transforming construction career education. College isn't necessarily meant for everyone. This creates a really great career track uh, for, for other people, you know, that maybe that's not their direction, or changing careers. We intend to create one million jobs out of this Build Strong Academy in the next 10 years. Pat also put Oakwood's hat in the ring to help address the monumental homelessness crisis in Denver. They're able to roll off, um, you know, 300 homes, tiny homes by the end of the year and, and get shelter for people in need. One of Pat's favorite things to do is spread the joy of giving. You will receive an envelope. That envelope will include a letter from me about the joy of giving, along with $500. And it's been phenomenal because I've been averaging anywhere from three to five letters a week from students and they've shared what they've done and, and uh, that was the goal and who knows where this goes. Welcome everyone to the third annual Carmel Classic. In 2008 we started it as a fundraiser for Boys and Girls Club and after a couple years at Sanctuary Pat brought the uh, group together and said let's move to Pebble Beach and, and have it in mid-October where he had had an annual event previously, and we made it a major fundraiser event where we raise up to nearly $2 million for charities around the country. You know, it's always you, not him, uh, puts his people first, whether it's at Oakwood Homes or whether it's in his charities or whether it's in his friendships. And I think that's what really made him successful. Day to day, you make a difference in the, in the lives of, be it your team members, associates, be it a customer. That's kind of what I try to do every day or most every day. His joke is he wants to bounce his last check. He wants to give it all away. And that's really the, the kind of person he is. He is um, purely the definition of humanity. Please welcome Pat Hamill.
Wow. <clears throat> hey, th thank you to everyone in this room who is part of such a special, special celebration tonight. Since 1990, the Colorado Business Hall of Fame has honored over 100 leaders from this community. And as I've combed through the list and reflected on the many extraordinary recipients, many of whom have influenced my own life and my own work, I recognized a common theme. They're all builders. They're builders of enterprise, and most importantly, they're builders of people. And that's a good thing because I'm a builder. So at least I'm in the right place tonight. And as many of you know, that's not always the case. I've been building since the early 80s when I graduated from the University of Denver. And Oakwood Homes has become a great vehicle to build more than just homes. Together, many of the people in this room have learned how to build and build community. My colleagues being recognized tonight are builders as well. Restaurants, nonprofits, banks, and of course, world-class ski resorts. Heck, even Elizabeth Hickok Robin Stone built the great city of Fort Collins. In fact, the Colorado Business Hall of Fame has been honoring builders since 1990 with Betcher, who built the Brown Palace, and most importantly, the Botanical Gardens, and Gates, who built a great rubber company. As I accept this award on behalf of all my colleagues at Oakwood and the many companies I've been honored to be a part of and all the companies that I've had the opportunity to work with, really the time for us is to rebuild today. We, we need to rebuild our commitment to working together despite our differences. We need to rebuild confidence in the public sector and we need to rebuild our civil discourse where we can disagree professionally, hopefully without tearing people down. We need to rebuild our education system to make way for new builders who will build better communities and be an example for them, for all the young people. And yes, we need to build housing and make sure that our teachers, thank you, our police officers and firefighters can actually live in the communities in which they serve. That cannot happen today. Most importantly, what I've learned about many of the laureates and many of you in this room is that the good builders give back. <clears throat> what they build is bigger than themselves and greater than themselves to last in an enduring way. If I've said many times, and you heard it tonight from multiple people, my plan is to bounce my last check. And I've, I've got to make sure I get the timing right, of course. <laughs> and as, and you know, finding purpose, all of us work hard to find purpose in our life. And as many of you know, it's probably one of our most fundamental needs that we all have. So in June, in June of this year, or, or last year, I should say, I was invited and, and asked to give the commencement speech for the address at the University of Denver, which I turned them down. I'm not sure, Amy, how many times I turned them down. But ultimately, I asked each graduate to take $500, and I shared with them. I said, if you need it, keep it. But, but importantly, if you know of someone or you see someone that needs it more, give it to them to find the joy of giving. Spoiler alert, I'm not giving each of you $500 tonight. <laughs> but, you know, ultimately, I, I'll, I don't share much, but I'll share a little of, about me. But I know, I do know, and many people have said it, my, the best version of myself is when I'm loving others and doing what I can do to make their time on earth a little better.
Guess I got a text message here. <laughs> to James Coleman, please. <clears throat> so tonight, tonight in lieu, tonight in lieu of the $500, I'm asking that every builder in this room do something to give back beyond what you already do. Something that will help us rebuild our community in the true spirit of the Colorado Business Hall of Fame. And that's what I feel this award is truly all about. So in closing, I'm gonna give you seven words to think about. Use things, love people, and worship the divine. Thank you and good night. Thank you.